Welcome to Quick 3D Tutorials. In the past video, we have shown you how to create the grass and how you coloring it by the exchange. In this video, we're going to show you how you can coloring uh, the exchange object like a spline and all other things by the exchange expression. So before we get to starting it, there are one thing very important you need to know. So if I just grab any of these uh, material and go to the choosing the color uh, and of course you need to choose uh, the RGB from 0 to 1 uh, what it is uh, every of these is uh, represent the color R for red and G for green and blue for B for blue so if you want to create like grass we won't have it maybe like dark green and we won't have some of them to be like light green so the thing we're going to use the expression is we think from 0 0.09 or something like this blending or not blending start by this and pick the next color be maybe one next color be like 0 0.2 and so on by the random is going to choose the color you want and if you want to mix two color different you can of course uh, you can see okay maybe I want the red to be one and the blue to be one and you're going to mix these different colors as you can see we're getting like light pink and like pink and so on so for now we're going to make it with the green so before we get the start to it of course we have creating or exchange uh, grasses or object or spline and then we're going to create a new shader calling it for AI standard surface shader so we're going to call calling it color of the, yeah just maybe color so we're just typing a talk color and we don't want to have a specular just to save render time and now we want to apply the color not the color actually we don't want to apply any color we want to exchange expression to do this so we want to grab some node called if we tap on the keyboard AI user data color and type the name of the color we want or not the color but for now I just type green or whatever thing you want to write so just copy this that is very important you remember the name you have given because we need to using it in the expression so when we have done this we're going to select the shader and middle mouse click and dragging it to the color and that has been connecting to it the next things we want now is going to selecting the description we want right click on the color assign some material to selection by this way now we have applied the shader on it there are one important thing we need to do is preview we're going to the preview tab we're going to the render to be on old and now we want to apply the thing we have calling it green and put that to color and press this now if I just render this one you will see a black color and that is because we have not given any color so how the color work as I say to you uh, to type one single color you need to say maybe I want to have it to be only green zero is red so I don't want to have the zero uh, second one is green I want to be one and the blue is uh, zero and when I apply it you will get the green and if I render you will also see the green color but for now I want to mix different color so I want uh, not uh, use exactly the same number I want to be random so the thing I'm going to add the section I want it to be rand and we think okay from what to what you want to I make it random I think from zero and of course you can see zero by one or two or whatever but for now I just make it zero two one and when I think apply if you think here we have getting like noisy but all of them is green and some of them is dark or black actually because the other is on zero 
So if I just render this now, you can see we're getting completely another thing. Some of them is green, some of them is like black and dark green and so on. So to, uh, for not we're getting any black color, so we need actually to type it zero point maybe two or three or so, so on. And you can of course go ahead and render this out. So you can see now we don't have like black color in the grasses. But we can also use it to make, okay, let's say I want to apply the red, but I don't want to be random and applying it. So we get thing like yellowish, uh, yellow oranges uh, things. And if you want also, you can also mix uh, random two things like, let's say, I'm going to make it uh, from 0 to 1 and I think maybe make it to be random from 0 to 1 also here just applying it and now we're getting like it's going to make it red, green, yellow, orange and so on because it's going only to mix uh, the green and the red and if you want to have a multiply or the all the different color so of course you're going to use the blue also by the rand 0 0.1 or 0 and onto 1 and just applying it and if I just render it now you can see okay we have getting any color that are like black like the the green pink or different color you you're going to get so which color do you want and which color you want to be random that is you going to focus so it is the right red color you want or the green one uh, and you want to have a black green or the dark green and light green so you're going only make the random in this section and if you want to mix different color you're going to use also like let's see the blue or the red you want only mix so you're getting the different color so that is a quick way to how to apply the different color by the XGen expression and thank for watching.